this week, the Annapolis Naval Academy has their graduation. While we're here in Annapolis, one of the top things they wanted to do was to take a tour of the Naval Academy. Our front yard and backyard has been... We're Jen, Elliot, and Ollie. In 2019, we booked a one-way flight to Colombia, and after traveling to 11 countries, we were locked down in India for five months. Coming back to the U.S., we decided to pivot into boat life and cruise on a 6,000-mile journey called America's Great Loop. Make sure to subscribe as we share the highs, lows, and everything in between. It's pretty neat that the Naval Academy is right next to downtown and it's cool walking around, especially this weekend because all families are in town, that there's just so many people out and a lot of young people. It's really nice to kind of be around. It's a little bit rejuvenating. And so you just, there's a gate right here, right outside this dinghy dock. Every end of Public Street in Annapolis is a dinghy dock. So this is the one that's right next to the mooring fields. Come through this gate. And then you have to check in, you have to go through a security checkpoint, and then you're there. And so the tour is provided by the school. You buy the tour tickets in the visitor center. You can't buy them ahead of time, so when we were walking Ollie earlier, we picked up a few tickets. The United States Naval Academy was first established in Annapolis in 1845. The tours were typically led by an alumni, which gave us a sense of personality that was really special. While walking through the absolutely stunning campus built with beautiful white granite from Maine, we learned about life as a midshipman. From their studies to the many sports trying to always beat Army and their lives post-graduation, it was a really interesting tour that took almost three hours. Right after finishing the tour, we checked out the Free Maritime Museum on campus. It detailed the history of naval warfare from the founding of our country till today, along with a world-class wooden boat museum with many intricate scaled models. Tour. Yeah, we loved it. Yeah, highly recommend if you come to the area. And our guide was excellent and we had a really great time. And tomorrow we're going to come and experience one of the, one traditions. Of the traditions. Yeah. We are here at the Herndon Klein, a 21 foot monument that the Billion Class of 23 has to climb and replace cap on top of the new cap to be officially registered at, to be accepted. The upperclassmen have covered the monument with lard. And as you can see, this is the before, and then here is what it is now. It is absolutely insane. It's one of the three rites of passages for students here at the Naval Academy. The shortest record time was less than two minutes, and the longest record time was last year at over
over four hours. So we brought some chairs to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show because we don't know how long this is going to last. <laughs> explain some of the stuff for us. So the first company who's been trying it for the first half an hour are now switching shifts with the second company. And this order, as I alluded to earlier, was basically whoever accomplished the sea trials first. They get to go first and second and second. And so that's the order of who gets the opportunity to get the, get the hat first. And everybody wants to get the hat because they say there's a legend that if you get the hat, you're going to become an admiral. And in fact, you get half of your admiral stripes uh, here in the chapel after, after it is. So if you become an admiral, all you need is your other half of your admiral's uh, stripes. It hasn't happened yet. coffee shop on campus and it's 1845 is the name of it. Yeah, so we got a blueberry coffee cake and then a lemon and cranberry muffin and of course a hot coffee. 1845 is the founding of the Naval Academy.
three hours, 37, 37 minutes. Wow. Hard work. Well deserved victory. better than a full-length movie. That was exciting. Wow, that was awesome. Good job, class of 2025. 25. It is time, folks, for one of the main reasons why we came to Annapolis, specifically for this week, picked up a morning ball, and that is the Blue Angels Navy Air Show. They're gonna be flying right over the academy. Pivot is pointing right into them. And yesterday was the trial, the pre-run, the practice run. This is the real deal. So towards the end of the day yesterday, we saw four jets. Um, and so I think that's how many others gonna be. We'll see. But everybody is out here. It is like the place to be uh, in this part of the Chesapeake. Like just this anchorage it just seems like it's spring break in south florida there's so many boats out here just a lot of people actually left the mooring field and left their dinghy on their ball to save their spot and anchored out in the in the harbor it's really cool and uh, i'm excited to see what the blue angels have in store for us today are you excited ollie so we got some sparkling waters we have our chairs out sunscreen on Hats on, we're ready for the show. It's kind of funny, this is the very first time we've ever sat and sat like this on the boat. Our two chairs in the bow, Ollie in her bed over here, feet up. Yeah. Not so bad. Should do this more often. Last night we watched Top Guns just to get in the zone, get in the mood for all the fighter pilot jets and stuff. Danger zone. The show is about to begin. The Blue Angels are spotted way off in the distance. Everybody is firing their, their horns in the boats. I think the show is over. They did actually broadcast uh, either play-by-play -play or some sort of overview on an AM radio station, uh, but we don't have access to this. So we couldn't listen to that, but that was incredible. That was really cool. They did so many tricks and so many like unique moves where they were so often you're looking at them and you're like, they cannot be more than a few feet apart from each other. So the room for error is very, very small. Skills that they had to be able to put on the show. Later this afternoon, there is the Wednesday night sailing regatta, and I don't know if this is just an everyday Wednesday thing within a certain season, 
but there are probably a hundred boats out here today. It is so cool. All the spinnakers are out and they all have these brightly colored spinnakers. It is so neat. And there, th sometimes we saw four boats all trying to pass each other. It's been pretty intense. A little bit of yelling, um, but really cool to just like sit back and like enjoy and take in this really unique experience. So today I would have to say that our front yard and backyard has been on point 10 out of 10. Thank you all so much for watching our vlog about Annapolis and the Naval Academy. It was really neat uh, learning about some of their traditions here. We really enjoy just being able to be here at this time of the year because this isn't something that goes on all the time. So we were, this was really special to be able to, to take in this fun activity and fun event. So if you're around here towards the end of May, just think about coming. Yeah. Right now we are about to head into town and then head on our cruise for the day. We are wrapping up our time here in Annapolis, so make sure you're subscribed to see that vlog. Thanks for watching.